This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. So we've had a little play with a macro, and before we get into the ins and outs of writing our own VBA, we need to understand the VBA environment. So this, in our case, is the Visual Basic Editor. Now, you cannot open the Visual Basic Editor without Excel being open. It works with it, it's part of it, really. But we can move from Excel to the Visual Basic Editor very quickly and very smoothly, and that is either from the Developer ribbon choosing Visual Basic, and that will take you in the Visual Basic Editor, or we can use the keyboard shortcut of Alt F11, which effectively does the same thing, brings up the Visual Basic Editor. Once it's open, you can go back to Excel, choosing the Excel icon here, or the same keyboard shortcut again, Alt F11. Now inside the Visual Basic Editor, we have the project window that's here. You can see we have two projects at the moment. There's a solver one, which is loaded really in the background. One I'm interested in here is the VBA project book one. That's the file I currently have open. And within that file, we have a separate sheet for each sheet within the workbook. So I've got three sheets, so three sheets there. And then there is a global sheet for this workbook. Now, this gray area here is the code window, and the bulk of our code will be written and stored inside modules. We currently don't have a module. Now, we can have an insert a module, as we will do now, by going to insert a module. And you see we then get module one. Or, when you create your first macro, the VBA creates module one for you anyway to store the macro in. This window here is the window you'll be doing most of your work in. This is the code window. We have a window below here called the immediate window. This is for testing code. If the immediate window is not open, you can activate it from view, immediate window, and you'll see there's a keyboard shortcut there of control G. So if I were to turn this off, because it's just a little mini window, I can bring it back by doing view immediate window. And its default location is there at the bottom. The properties window here shows you the properties for the selected item. So if I select sheet one, I get a list of properties for sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, the workbook, and then module one you'll find has no properties. So it's each of the Excel objects that have the properties. Just like pretty much any program, we have a menu bar, which runs from file to help. And you'll see that as you hover over each of them, you have various options, which we will look at as we come across their requirements. And then there are your standard toolbar icons, which like most applications are effectively shortcuts for items that are available in the menu anyway. So we have a menu bar, a toolbar, project window, properties window, code window, the most important one, and immediate window. Now there are other windows that we will look at, but these are the main four that we'll be using throughout our VBA experience in Excel. Now, as well as being able to insert a module from insert and module, we can also remove modules at any time by right clicking and remove or file and remove. Be careful when removing modules that you don't actually lose any code that you wanted. You can export modules for use in other applications. So we can go right click export and that will export all the code in this particular module to be saved in a separate text file that you can then import into other Excel projects. So that's quite useful if you're swapping code between applications, or if you want to effectively save a backup of your code, it's a good way of doing it. So that's export file, choose where you'd like to save it, and you see it saves it as a basic file. It's called it the same name, module one, but you can call it anything you like. And you can do the same for import. Import the file and go and import the code for a new module. Alternatively, you can actually just copy and paste code straight into the code window should you have some code from elsewhere. For example, a tutorial you've run or an internet site. Now the VB editor has a number of options that are customizable. These are accessible from tools and options. Now we won't dig into what each of these do, but they are helpful and they ought to all be on in the editor window here. There is one missing and that's require variable declaration. I personally would have that ticked and then okay. And then what you'll find in every new module from now on, so I insert a new module, we get option explicit, which means that every variable, and we'll cover those shortly, has to be defined before you can use it. Without that on, you can start to use variables without defining them, and that can get quite messy when you're creating your code. So it's an option that I personally would suggest is on. So that's tools, options, and the little tick in require variable declaration. 
All the other ticks are on and all the other ticks are extremely useful. So we leave them in place. That goes for the editor format where you can actually change the typeface of here if you like. So the code that will appear. But again, personally, I leave that as the default, but you can customize general. We've got a grid, tooltips, etc., and then docking shows the windows that we're going to have, which is the immediate window, project explorer, properties, and the code window here are all dockable. We don't have the locals window or the watch window open, but we will see those later, and you'll find that they just dock in place when we choose them. And the main bit really is to put the tick in here, require variable declaration. So it's a fairly straightforward environment, one big window for the code, which is the main thing, and the Explorer, really those are the two main ones, the Explorer window, so you can see around your project, your Excel file, and your VBA code, and then the code window for editing that code. On the title bar, you'll see which module you're currently looking at. I'm looking at module two. If I double click module one, I'll be looking at module one. So just think of these as big sheets of paper with loads and loads of code in them. And that's a quick tour of the Visual Basic editing environment.